All right, Sam here. Uh, making this video today because uh, I'm doing a couple things. For one, I'm just admitting that I've been kind of lollygagging around about getting my resale business off the ground. I, um, I made the decision to like go all the way in on it. You know, like I finally I saw a video and I'll do a shout out to Resale Rabbit. Uh, seen millions of videos, this, that, other, you know, job fairs, growing up as a kid, all this stuff. I never saw anything that was like, ah, oh, you know, that's me. Until I watch some videos of Resale Rabbit. I don't go Googling him and think that I'm this like, you know, Wisconsin guy all about the cheese. I hope he hears that someday. I, I love you, dude. You're the best. But um, for real, it was the first time in my life where I actually saw something that I was like, wow, I could really see myself doing that, enjoying it, showing up every day, you know. Because I'm, you know, I'm kind of the kind of guy that just, you know, I'll get interested in something and just toss it aside. It's uh, uh, short attention span, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just, it, it takes a little bit to engage me. And when things feel repetitive, I'm just like, nah. But uh, anyways, today, uh, I want you to see it. This is, let's see, here we go. Take a look, we'll pan. See, we got this couch over here. This is my, my little uh, mountain mohill, whatever you want to call it. I need to get that couch out of here and, and, and then organize this room. But uh, in the video, I'll go through, if anyone watched my unboxing video or whatever of uh you know me getting my first pallet i was super excited and do realize now that i need to buy a few more <laughs> like probably about a truckload which runs about 20 stacks or 20 grand for people who don't speak whatever that came from but um anyways <laughs> damn there's no lighting here here we go uh, there see now uh, one side of my face is completely lit up see it's only the good half so um I want to really get this off the ground, uh, the eBay and all their charges. I've been doing massive tons of research into the whole thing. Um, you know, the I, I had no idea the amount of, uh, you know, whatever effort into the photography of the damn items that you post is, you know, shit, I just take a picture of it sitting on a pair of my underwear on the ground. You know, I, I re you know, when I used to sell car stereo, stuff like that on, you know, like online. I never really knew you could make a whole business out of it, and uh, I mean, I guess it's pretty freaking obvious if you sit down and think about it for more than two seconds, but, uh, you know, it didn't interest me at the time. That's one of my issues. Uh, you know, if I lose interest in things, not good. But anyways, uh, so today, this mess you see here will be uh, organized. I'm going to set up like an assembly line type thing. I want to have a spot where, you know, I mean, computers are kind of going out of date. You just do my shit on the phone. But I mean, I guess, you know, it's a lot of resellers, you know, swear by the, you know, use a computer, you need a keyboard, whatever, you know, I, I'm not one of those guys are going to see that's, you know, doesn't want to use a self checkout because, you know, the future isn't coming or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> anyways, I'm not going to go on that topic, but today I will fix this problem this this is a thing it's been kind of bugging me like it's like my dream is like standing right there saying I'm right here man come after me you know and and I'm not doing it so uh, you know today is that day where it changes uh, I'm vowing or whatever you want to call it you know uh, I'm today this will be an organized thing it's gonna be, you know, ready. I'm not gonna be like, I'm gonna post my first items today. That'd be a good thing though, that's a good goal. But this will be ready for posting items. You know, I got a little PayPal issue that I need to sort out, you know, and plus the, you know, the acceptance of 13% of everything I sell. <sighs> Going somewhere else. Hey, you know, the exposure that they give you is obviously worth it, but you know. Um, if I don't do that, you can see my procrastination in progress. See how that works? But um, if I don't get this done by like midnight, you know, tonight, I'm going to go apply for some like job down at the fucking assembly line or whatever. I realize I just said it that for Come on, don't get my video kicked. But um, so that's it. Today, this is going to be done or surrender to the... You know, the, I, I know every entrepreneur out there, anyone who has it really in their blood, they know exactly what I'm talking about. 
their entire, you know, family, friends, everybody, you know, oh, what the hell are you doing, man? You need to go get a job. You need to clock in. You need 401k, you know, all this shit, you know, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like Gary V, I think that, you know, man, dude's awesome. Anyways, he said it the best. I'd rather make, you know, 80000 a year doing something that I love, man, than have $10 million a year doing nothing, doing something I don't like. Something that's just, that's not for me, you know? You know, I'm not a, you know, I remember when I was younger, my, my aunt was like, you know, you should be a, a, a professional wrestler. You know, you're, you're a big guy. You have this, like, personality. You can make up a character and all this. You know, like, a, like be a lucha or whatever, you know? And I'm like, you know, like, damn, you realize you just told me to go fucking sacrifice my body and get hurt, you know, every day? Like, that's more acceptable than, you know, like, doing something I love? The flip, you know? Like, what? But anyways, man, that's a big thing with Gary Vee is... Um, and I, I'm going to pass this along, you know, I didn't invent this shit, but like, you know, the number one thing holding everybody back is, is their worry. They worry about, like in my instance, man, my mom, I worry about what my mom thinks about me. I worry if she's going to see me as a success or a failure. I worry about that, man. And, you know, if, if it was a stock and there was a currency, it would be my soul, man. I, it, it kills me. And, and. And I, and I don't mean anything. Mom, I love you, Mom. You're the, you took care of me. This whole, the thing I'm just trying to say is that I, I don't want to disappoint her or whatever. And that's what holds me back. And it's just a weird, ironic thing that, you know, that it's like, you know, like you're the, the, the worry of success or something. It's so strange. So anyways, don't let that, don't let that stop you. If you're seeing this video, one person, one man, I don't care. If one guy just heard that and was like, wow, yeah. Uh, then, then I did my job, okay? Don't let that stuff hold you back in life. You know, you, you got, uh, you know, you are 100% in charge. And, um, you know, I mean, think about it. Like, if in my case, I've never had like a, I mean, I've had a job here and there, work at AutoZone for a couple months, this and that. Boring as hell. Hate The managers hate me because all the girls are nice to me and stuff. It, it's just awful. Like, every, it's always been crappy. I, I, could, I just never get in. That's not my life. You know, it'd be like, uh, I don't know, it'd be like Yao Ming. Here, dude, you gotta you use a second grader's toilet for the rest of your life. You know, like, I just, this is not how it works, man. I just, I'm not just, I'm not from that. So, anyways, I need, I'm having a good time on this video. This is more like a testimonial. But um, the more I sit here procrastinating, trying to pass along positivity to everybody because they just need that in life, um, I really need to get busy doing this and um so guess what time to do right, it guys, um, <laughs> i know in the unboxing video uh, got dark and the camera turned kind of a weird direction so anyways we'll go through all the stuff that uh, came in my palette for starters i got uh, seven boxes of this chicharrones here for those who don't realize it's uh pig skin uh, i think deep fried and uh my favorite part of it is the title of course they're called the pork clouds Enjoy. They're, they're like you, you put it in your mouth and you're floating on a cloud, apparently. Next. Next item is we got the Bear Club steps here. There, it's a, it comes with a pair of them. There's two. And I believe that these pieces here are the part to like keep the toilet closed so your toddler doesn't, you know, fall in and breathe in water instead of oxygen. We all know what happens there. Okay. Well, there's uh, there was four sets of them. Okay, here we have. This is called a range hood, you know, it goes over your stove there. Suck all the air out, you know, all the smoke and stuff. Uh, brand new in the box, still sealed. Um, let's see, where is it? Oh, here we go. There's the model number if you want to pause the video. Hit me up on Facebook, work you out a sweet deal. Okay, we got that. Um, we got two of these things. And this, this is the most interesting item that I got. It's, uh, it's like a lake aerator, you know, it's for... It's just weird. So, like, you put a, you know, have this big thing in your backyard, put a tarp in it, fill it up with water, and you put this thing in there to, like, you know, provide oxygen for anything that's alive in there or something like that. Uh, helps keep it clean and shit. Anyways, there's a $600 item, two of them. <laughs> so, I've got those. I had a guy on the line yesterday. He said I had to okay it with his wife, which we all know in the seller world means uh, 
I am interested in this item, but I won't be back because, yeah. Anyways, got two of them. Look at this weird card case thing. It's called Cased. Apparently it fits um, 1800 or 1,400 cards in it. I just don't see how that'd be good for the card, but hey, to each their own. Uh, got a goofy little yoga bag. Uh, you put your yoga mat in there, can't we? Got to sell it to Joe Rogan. Um, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of these. They're called Giraffe Monkey. And apparently they're like gloves that are an oven mitts or something, you know? So, hey, hey, let's take two things, put them together, try to make a million dollars. I, you know, anyways, so I got a bunch of those, yeah. Probably sell you one for a dollar. You should come to my house and give you one probably. Uh, no, that's not an invite. Anyways, <laughs> I got uh, one, two, three, four cases of this uh, flower here. I've seen this going on eBay for like roughly nine bucks a pack. So, you know, we're looking at a bit of cash there. Um, let's see what else. We've got this newborn arrival gift set thing. It's all sealed up. Um, uh, this little case here, it kind of feels like it goes with it, and whether it does or doesn't, if you buy the damn thing, I'll give it to you too. But it just kind of looks like it has like little rubber bands in there for holding bottles, and I just kind of figured, hey, hey, put those in there. So, um, any other sellers out there is noticing how much of a rookie I am? <laughs> this is my photograph area. I still haven't quite done that yet, but I'm working on it. It'll be done today by midnight. You can do rest assured. Okay, next, I got this weird little guess it was um, Nerf's attempt at that uh, that Frisbee game or whatever they play in the park. <laughs> oh, man, I feel so old saying it like that. I have no idea what the hell that game's called. I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. Um, anyways, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got nine of these water distillers. Interesting fun fact, although illegal, I googled what, what can you distill to increase its value, and every answer was alcohol. And then there was step-by-step -step instructions how to use these machines to, you know, put the mash in there and make your own home vodka, taking home brewing to a whole nother level, apparently. But, you, you know, I would never endorse such activities or anything like that, but, uh, hey, you want to just steal some water? Give me a call. Uh, hit me up on YouTube, or I mean on Facebook. Um, this also came in, it's, uh, it's like a, VHS over to DVD thing, you know, you could like back up all your VHS tapes on a disc. Okay, what else do we have? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Those aren't part of it. Let's see. I got this guy here. I was like, what the heck is this thing, right? Huh? It's one of those. Well, the only way I knew what it was is because I used to, my dad talked me into getting this dishwasher job when I was younger. So it's one of them, you know, things you use at a, like a restaurant, you know, that rinses all the food off. Thing you could probably blow your eyeball out of your head with this thing. It's got some massive water, water pressure. Okay, next. Oh, and this little weird golf guy. This, uh, anybody who's into golfing would know. Anybody who is not. This thing is weird. It's apparently an indoor trainer deal. You use it to, uh... You know, practice while you're indoors. Your swing. Apparently the technique of it or whatever. Oh my god. Blair Witch in this video up. Next we have these decorative wooden serving trays. They're selling on eBay for like 15 bucks. I've been thinking about saturating the market just to get rid of them and sell for five or something. I don't know, maybe I should do that to establish a good rapport with my fellow sellers, huh? So I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did sell one of the water distillers to a close friend. Hey, Cam, thanks for that. Hope Frank enjoys his purchase. And I think that's it. I mean, I, my palate, it, the reason that I had bought it, for anybody that's, uh, if, you're, if you're watching and you're thinking about trying to, you know, throwing your hat in the ring there, um, the thing is, is that when I went there, I was looking, they let you look at the pallets. You could, you know, you can't like go dumpster diving style and just get in there. But you can kind of move stuff around, take a look. And I saw uh, four of these, the water distillers. And I was like, Googled them up, you know, retail, they're like 221. But right now, roughly, 
they seem to be selling somewhat consistency consistently <laughs> on uh, eBay for roughly about eighty to hundred. So you know the pallet was like three forty, you know American dollars. <laughs> for all, for anyone, if my video makes it to the outback or something, um, you know. So I figured, hey, four or five of these guys, I can make my money back, and all the rest is bonus. There was also a huge bag of this like wag dog food, some forty dollar stuff, and um, you know that it was kind of a weird palette, just was like a throw together. But you know, after seeing the two like lake aerating machines here, these things, I mean, that's over. That's like I mean, if I sell it at half price, I'm still getting six hundred dollars. It almost doubles of my money. So seems like a home run. It's just uh, anybody in the game. You know, knows anything about reselling? Um, they don't know that you know it comes out the back end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Insert joke here, but uh, who he? Uh, <laughs> where do you insert the joke? Anyways, so that's my stuff. That's what came on the pallet. Um, I'm hoping to at least triple my money. You know, at least get about a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks back. Is all I'm really aiming for. Uh, you know, if I really get into it, I'm sure I could you know way over that but you know i'm just trying to be realistic i don't want to you know that's uh, the elon musk um what is it the equation for happiness he he may not even claim that one but you know just reality minus expectation so try not to expect much you know just a little couple little math problems maybe so anyways that's my stuff that's what came in a palette enjoy